Hey guys, Kosa here once again from Crowlight Studios. How's everybody doing? And today we're gonna go over the subject of nine slicing. All right. So to demonstrate this thing, what I'm gonna do is go over to GIMP and show you something. Okay. I've created this uh, rounded rectangle uh, shape, basically, which has a gradient from red to white going on. I'm gonna go and export this. All right. We'll give it a name of rounded rect dot png, and I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Done. Okay. See. Okay. Awesome. Now let's do something. Open up our demo project. All right, anytime now. Go 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 go. All right, there we are. Now let's quickly import our rounded rect dot png into our project inside our texture folder. And what you're gonna do is notice this uh, arrow. Uh, triangle thing going on. I'm going to click on that and it will pull down a menu sort of thing. There we go. It's a raw image inside here. And from here we can set some options uh, like border top, border bottom, border left and border right. To demonstrate what the concept of 9 slicing is, what I'm going to do is hit this edit button right here. And as you can see a window for uh, editing the sprite has come up it's title sprite editor and if you notice we've got four borders going on this top one this uh, right one this bottom one and this left one right so if I go ahead and uh, pull this top border down like somewhere around here okay and let me do that with the bottom one as well something like uh, this one and left one right there okay and something like this okay now what you can see here is that I have separated or sliced my canvas or this image into nine distinct parts also let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine right now what good have I done to this thing, right? Let me show you in quite a bit. Okay, hit this apply button, this green, uh, this green uh, check mark right here. Okay, all right. And as you can see, this border values have been applied here. Now let's do one thing. Okay, first of all, let me just. Uh, get rid of this things that we were working on in the previous tutorial let me quickly drag and drop this uh, rounded rect onto my scene like so now if I uh, select this uh, rectangular transform gizmo or this rect gizmo uh, if you remember from our earlier tutorial we can use this to uh, stretch our image or scale it if you will so let's try something like this. Okay. Notice how it gets, you know, weirdly distorted. Uh, if you notice around this corners, basically, right? Looks horrendous, doesn't it? Ugh! What the hell is going on? Okay. But it's supposed to be like that, right? Uh, I mean, even if you drag and drop uh, any kind of image, it's gonna be like that, right? See? Freakishly stretching, it's... It's freakingly unbearable to watch, right? So, what am I gonna do here? Select this image. And, let's quickly... Uh, actually let me drag and drop another copy of rounded rect like so and in this case 
just to show you the difference from this one I'm gonna go ahead into the properties of this one right and to make things a bit more clear I'm gonna rename this object or node in the node tree to rounded rect 9 sliced whoa awesome alright so I'm gonna go into my properties and vector here and in the sprite component I'm gonna select the type to slice hmm nothing fancy huh but now watch what happens if I stretch this see awesome right it stretches but it keeps the corners intact and as you can see uh, you know the gradient in between uh, is smoothly blending in right right now the difference is basically this that in this case in our rounded rect the previous one even if I stretch this one it's gonna stretch the entire image right and in this case rounded rect 9 sliced in which case I have uh, this type set to sliced as opposed to simple okay it basically calculates the stretching factors based on the nine slices that we made let me go into the sprite editor once again to show you the uh, technique for slicing right okay on the correct edit so basically what's going on here is that this corner this corner this corner and this corner all the four corners are going to stay intact they are going to be staying constant and they won't be scaled right this area right the central top area is going to be stretched along the x axis only same goes for the bottom center area it's going to be stretched along the x axis only this area on the left center is going to be stretched along the vertical or the y axis only same goes for this one the right center area is going to be stretched along the y axis only the central area is going to be stretched along both the axis the horizontal axis the x axis and the y axis as well right so since I haven't done anything fancy to this one or altered this let me close this one out and like I said the corner areas are staying intact as you can see right the side areas this part you can imagine a slice somewhere around here and here they are stretching along the vertical axis right notice the gradient and since I don't have any smoothened uh, gradient-ish uh, pattern in this area the to center top and the center bottom I, uh, it isn't much obvious but it's stretching horizontally there as well and the central sliced part the absolute central slice is stretching along both the axes right so uh, uh, where will this be useful uh, first of all you won't be getting horrible effects like this one where you want something of a, you know rounded rectangle button maybe or something like a capsule there you go or even you can uh, have something uh, of the sort of an elastic effect like so okay and you can even if you pull this real close you can get something of the sort of a circle ooh that one looks like a pokeball doesn't it <laughs> okay anyway uh, getting back to where we were so nine slicing can be used uh, in case of uh, uh, you know uh, buttons UI buttons in case of uh, small sprites which need to be kept intact on four corners okay so that's basically it basically it preserves the corners and it tries to maintain the overall 
uh, charm if you will or the overall uh, pattern or the overall image altogether okay so I guess that wraps up uh, this topic of nine slicing we can uh, go over this topic in a little bit more detail with a few more examples in a much later video but for now let's wrap it up here and have fun guys see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if this has uh, given you any input on the topic of nine slicing all right then bye